All right, that's the thing. All right. Um, uh, I'm Dan Parent, uh, creator of Kevin Keller, and we are going purple for Spirit Day. I remember a time when um, I was going to Catholic school, and I remember getting really bullied. And um, it's like, you know, young, overweight, nerdy kid who was into comic books. <laughs> Didn't have a lot going for me. And I just remember that feeling of being bullied for no apparent reason is a terrible feeling. And if you're if you're a gay kid and you're being bullied for that reason day after day, it's got to be traumatic as, as hell. You draw on those ex painful experiences, and I think any a lot of artists do that. You draw on your pain, and it's part of your art. I always was a, a geek, comic book kid, reading comic books. I always wanted to work. I was always drawing all the time. So being a comic book artist was, was always. Um, Something I aspired to, you know, you don't really know if it's going to happen, but you, you, you know, you want it to happen, and, um, and you want to do stories and create characters that make a difference. Especially as you know, as you get older, like at first you just want to get the work and you enjoy it, but as you get older, you want to do things that are important and make a difference, and and that's part of work, how Kevin came about. I think Kevin is a trailblazer in the fact that um, you know Archie Comics is a considered a children's entertainment company, so you don't see a lot of gay open characters in children's entertainment. So I think that with Kevin sort of led the way in that area because, or with Arch Comics, because um, up to that point, there was, the word gay hadn't even been mentioned in, in, in a kid's comic book. Kevin has in, encountered some uh, discrimination from being in Riverdale. Not as much as he did when he was growing up. Um, but Kevin's role, I think, is sort of transformed now into more of a, like a defender of people who are going through things like this. Kevin is a, a believer in supporting LGBT youth and causes, and so, you know, that's true to Kevin's character. Kevin wants to be there to help whoever he can help. Kevin's had a very supportive family, which has been really great. Um, not every uh, LGBT person is that fortunate, but in Kevin's case, he's been very fortunate to have a very supportive family, very supportive friends, um, very supportive friends in Riverdale. But, um, so that's, that's what's really helped Kevin along. And, Kevin as ambassador, Spirit Day, maybe he can help people who aren't so fortunate. Because there are so many uh, kids today who are, you know, they're not all growing up in the Northwest and Northeast and Canada. Uh, they're growing up in very conservative areas or come from conservative families who are not, you know, they, they, they don't have the ability or the strength to, to, you know, come out. So I think when you see things in the media like Kevin or supportive characters, it makes a world of difference. Now we have like a, a almost like we're getting towards like a zero tolerance for bullying, and that's the way it should be. It's, it's just it's just should be unacceptable. Um, so I think that something like Spirit Day, growing up, would have been, you know, a lifesaver to to many kids, to many kids. And uh, so I think that doing things like this, you're really saving lives.